you know, there, there's two giant voyages, right? One is the physical movement of Hokulea around the world, like a needle that pulls its thread to Soale of Aloha, to the places that we go to. And in doing so, the earth becomes our school and it's a place that we learn to be responsible to the earth. But at, at the very same time, it's a second voyage. It, it's a voyage that we're saying is about education. It's about looking at the world in a different way than we have in the last 200 years. It, it's, it's, it's about relationships to place and to home. And in the end, the long-term solution to saving the earth is teaching our children how to do that. A year and a half into the worldwide voyage, Hokula is halfway around the globe, and crew members are finding ways to engage Hawai'i's communities with the voyage, especially our children. And why do you think it's called Mauna Lua? Apprentice navigator Austin Kino brought together worldwide voyage crew members, supporters, and the students of the Malamahonua Public Charter School for a day of hands-on learning at Paiko Wildlife Sanctuary, Maunalua Bay's last remaining wetland. In the sanctuary, they're removing invasive uh, pickleweed and maybe limu for the older ones, and they're going to be planting native plants from the Department of Forestry's nursery. Um, the group that's going to be walking all around is really understanding the different qualities of water we have over here and the function of a wetland. And lastly, we're um, learning about our entire ecosystem where we have guys from the University of Hawaii and Kahi Kai that are doing plankton tows with the kids on a double hole paddling canoe to kind of get the kids to uh, experience kind of a micro version of what we do on Hokulea, which is, I think, really special. Okay, we're going to go there and we're going to look at your guys' samples. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go put it underneath them. This is testament about the reality of taking an idea and a set of values like Malama Honua and, and acting on it. I see these children's ankles wet. That was my ankles wet. And, and they are here doing the same thing I did, coming to explore this ocean. The ocean's changed. And so I'm almost coming back and seeing my childhood again through them. And uh, in a way that today is a day that I actually see in a measurable way that tipping point, like we went down this very steep mountain of decline and beginning to see that we're turning it back up. That this is a day, not a big time, it's a day of renewal. We need to take care of the ocean because it's the home for a whole bunch of animals, right? Before we try and establish healthy reef systems and go after maybe commercial operators or solve politics in the community, it all starts with getting the kids here to understand why these things are important. So um, I think it's really important that they come out here, get dirty, enjoy the water, and um, I'm glad we were able to pull it off. This is Kapoor Roback for OEV TV, home of the Worldwide Voyage. Continue to follow us at hokulea.com. Aloha.